Hey, what's going on guys? So it's Friday. I wanted to do something that's relatively simple but still useful. So we're going to create this landing page with a video background. So this video will play in the background. We have an overlay with CSS to make it a little darker and you can change how dark you want it. So for instance, if I change a value here in the CSS, now you can see it's darker. And we're not going to be using any kind of library or anything like that. Just straight HTML CSS. We'll be using the HTML5 video element and uh, positioning things, positioning the overlay and so on. So basically it takes this takes up the whole viewport. And then as we scroll down, you can have more sections. I just have this one about section. Um, but of course, you could add more. You could change the video, customize it, make it into a whole new website, add a nav bar and so on. And it is responsive. So if I open up my device toolbar here, you'll see it still looks good on uh, on smaller devices. Okay, so let's get into it. We'll jump into VS Code and I have four files. I have an index HTML and a style CSS, which are completely empty. And then I have my movie. So it's called video.mov and then just a cover JPEG to use as a background image for that split second that the, the video takes to load. Okay, and I'll have the code in a code pen down in the description if you want to grab that. So let's start off here with the HTML. I'm just going to add a boilerplate here and just say video landing page and then we'll link in our CSS. And I'm also going to be using font awesome for the social media icons. I mean, you guys don't have to add this if you don't want, but I'm just going to grab it from CDNJS. So font awesome. And let's grab the link tag. Uh, let's go to CSS and then link tag. We can copy that, close that up and paste that right in there. Okay, so in the body, we're basically just going to have two sections. One is going to be the showcase section, which is the large, you know, the, the landing page with the video, and then we'll have the about. So let's say let's give this an HTML5 section tag with the class of showcase. And in here we're going to have a div with the class of video dash container and this is going to wrap the video tag which is going to point to the video.mov file. Now I do want to add a couple uh, HTML5 attributes in here. One is autoplay because I want it to play automatically muted. So if there's any sound you can mute it and then loop so it so that it keeps playing. And of course you don't need these attributes um, but that's just what I want to do here. And then I'm going to have a class of content and this is where the text is going to go. So the H1 will say shoot for the stars and then we'll have underneath that an H3 and I'm going to say full we'll say full screen. I can't type and talk video landing page and then underneath that we'll have a link that will be formatted as a button. So I'm going to give it a class of BTN and it's going to go to the ID of about and we'll just say read more. So that's it for the, the showcase section. So underneath that, let's create a section with an ID of about. And inside here, we'll have an H1 that'll say about. I don't know why that keeps going lowercase. Uh, and then a paragraph, which I'm just going to grab the text. Of course, you can just put dummy text in here if you want. And then I'm going to add an H2 and say, follow me on social media, which you guys should all do. <laughs> and then class of social. So in here, I'm just going to have some links that point to my accounts wrapped or I'm going to wrap the icons in links. So we just have some links and then we have the I tag. So for instance, Twitter, I used FA 3x just to make the icons a little bigger. So we'll save that. I have auto format on save. So now it's nice and pretty. So let's open this with live server, which is a VS code extension. And what we have is just the video, which takes up the whole screen here and then all of our content. So now it's time to style this. So we're going to jump into our CSS. Actually, one thing I want to do is grab the font that I'm going to be using from fonts.google.com and that's going to be open sans. So we'll just grab that. I'm going to grab the light 300 and regular 400. And then if we click over on embed, and then import, we can grab the import right here and then just copy that and put that right in our style sheet. 
Okay, now before we get to like the video and showcase and stuff, I just want to add some base styling. I am going to add a custom property here on the root scope for a primary color. So the, the syntax is dash dash and then whatever you want to call this primary color. And I'm going to set this to a hexadecimal value of three a four zero five two, which is like a dark blue grayish color similar to the night sky and then I'm going to go ahead and just set box sizing uh, border box on everything and then just reset the margin and padding on everything, which is what I usually like to do. And then for the body, let's add our font family of open sans. And I'm going to just add a line height. Let's do a line height of, let's say, 1.5. Okay, and then just some other base stylings like for links, we'll set the text decoration to none so that we don't have any underlines and I'm going to set the color to that variable so we can use var and then primary color. Okay, and then for the H1, I want to clean it up a little by making the font weight less. So let's do make 300 for the font weight and then let's up the font size to 60 pixels and lower the line height. so that when it's on two lines they're they're not so spread apart so we'll do 1.2 and then margin bottom to push everything down we'll do 15 pixels okay so if we look at it now not too much different we just have cleaner fonts so now we're going to start to work on the the main showcase area so <clears throat> excuse me let's add that class here so showcase Uh, we're going to go ahead and position this relative and because we're going to have stuff in it positioned absolute. We want to set the height of the showcase to take up the entire page. So we're going to use VH, which is the viewport heights. So it'll take up 100, basically 100% of the height of the viewport. Um, we're going to we want to center the, all the text and stuff, the content. So I'm going to display as a flex box and then just set the flex direction to column. That way we can use align items center and justify content center, <clears throat> excuse me, which will center it on both the main and the cross axis. So basically the X and Y axis because we want it to be right in the middle. And let's see, we're going to set also set the text align to center. And let's add a little bit of padding on the sides. We'll do 20 pixels on the sides. So let's see if I. we take a look at that you can see um, the content here is centered now we want this to be up here and we want it to be in front of the video so let's now style the video container in fact I just want to show you if I were to um, comment out the video here and take a look you'll see that the text is right where we want it to be the button looks like crap but we'll, we'll style that later So let's uncomment that and now let's style the video container. So video container and we want to position this to be absolute. I don't know what that is. Absolute and we're going to start at the top left corner. So top zero left zero. We want it to spread all the way across. We want the height to go all the way up and down. So 100%. Um, What else do we want to do here? Let's set the overflow to hidden so that we don't have any scroll bars. And the background here, I'm actually going to set to first of all the the primary color, but then I'm going to have a you an image over it. So the URL is going to be that cover image, which is right in the root. So just dot slash cover um, dot JPEG. And then let's set a no repeat background repeat. property and then center center for the position and then slash cover for the background size. Okay, so that's the video container. Um, and let's just see what that looks like. Okay, <clears throat> so now the text is up here, but it's behind the video. So to move that forward, we can use Z index. So remember, the text is wrapped in a class of content. So what I'll do is set that Z index to something like 10 and that should be enough to move it up front. Uh, and actually we want this color. We want this to be white. 
So for the showcase, we'll go ahead and set color to white. Okay, and don't worry about the button. We're going to style that afterwards. Um, now for the video itself. So I'm going to say dot video container and then for the video tag itself, we want to set a min width of 100% and we're also going to set a max width. I'm sorry, a min, not a max width, a min height of 100%. And I'm also going to use object fit, which is a, a property that's similar to background size for a background image and we're going to set it to cover. Now, if we take a look, so it doesn't look bad, but one thing that I want to I want to mention is that if we make this smaller, you see how the video just kind of stays in where it is. If we go to let me just make this bigger and then go to the original one and then resize this, you'll see that it has a different effect. It basically just kind of grows and uh, it stays in the middle. Basically, this doesn't this just stays exactly where it is. And I don't want that effect. So to fix that, and I know we don't have the overlay yet, we'll take care of that in a minute. Uh, but to fix that, we're going to set the we're going to set the position of this video to absolute. And then we're going to set the um, top to 50%. Basically, we want to we want to always keep it in the middle. So we'll say top 50% and from the left. 50%. Now the problem with doing this is that if we take a look at it now, the video, the 50% is from the is from the corner right here. So it's 50% down, 50% over. Now we want it right in the middle. So to fix that, we can use transform and then translate because translate will move it along the X and Y axis. So if we say transform and then set translate, which takes in whatever we want for the X and Y axis, we're going to do negative 50%, negative 50%. Okay, so that's X and Y. And this is used to, to put things directly in the middle rather than from there, you know, from the edge. So now if we check it out, it's right in the middle. And if we make this smaller, we get that same growing and shrinking effect instead of, you know, how it was before. All right, so now that that's taken care of, let's do the overlay because this is way too bright. This text isn't I mean, I guess it is readable, but this should be a little darker. It's way too bright. So one thing we could do is add a new div for an overlay, make that positioned absolute and then make it cover everything. But instead of having a adding a separate div and adding to our HTML, I'm going to use the after pseudo selector. So what we can do is on the video container, say colon after. And this is used. I mean, it's used mostly for overlays in my experience, but you can also insert content like we could actually insert the text. Hello after the video container. Now we don't want to insert any text. However, we do need this content property. We're just going to leave it as an empty string and then we can we can style this just like any other element. We can position it to be absolute within the showcase. We can put it to the top corner. So top left are going to be zero and then we want it to spread all the way across. So with 100% height, 100% and we could set a background color. If I set this to blue and save and we take a look, we can see that that element, which is basically I like to call it a ghost element when you use before and after because it's almost like you're just inserting an element that isn't there and then styling it. Um, so it has this blue background, which is now covering the video. All right. It's not covering the text because we set that Z index to 10, but it is covering the video and, and that's what we want. But we do want it to be translucent. We don't obviously don't want a solid color. That would be pretty pointless. So we could set an opacity. But what I would like to do is just set this to an RGBA value. So red, green, blue, alpha. We want black, a black overlay. So if we do zero, for red, green and blue, that gives us black. And then the last value, the alpha is the transparency or the opacity. So we'll set that to let's set it to 0.6. So now if I save that, and we go back. Now we have this dark overlay and obviously you could change this if you want it to be darker. We could raise it to like 0.9 and now it's really dark. You can barely see it, but you may want that effect. So I mean, it's up to you how you know how light or dark you want it. 
So that's pretty much it as far as, you know, putting a video behind content here. Now, I just want to finish up the page. So for one thing, this button, I want to style that. So that has a class of BTN. And I'm going to display this. I usually like to use display inline block for buttons. And then we can add padding. So 10 pixels, 30 pixels, top and bottom. The background for this. Um, I'm going to use that variable color or that custom property of primary color. And then let's add a color of white and I'm going to do a border of one pixel white solid and a border radius of five pixels and a margin top just to bring it down a little bit. We'll do 25 pixels and I'm going to make it a little bit translucent. So let's set the opacity to 0.7 and then just for a, a little hover effect. On the hover state, we'll set the transform and we'll use scale and we'll scale it down a little bit. Let's do 0.98. So it'll just scale it from 1 to 0.98. And if we go and take a look, you can see that it scales down a little. All right. So the next thing I want to do is the about section, which is pretty simple. So we have an idea of about and I'm just going to set an overall padding of 40 pixels. and just text align everything to the center. Okay, and then let's do the paragraph. So we have about paragraph. I'm going to increase the font size a little bit. We'll do 1.2 rem units and then set a max width because I don't want it to, to go out all the way. So I'm going to set a max width of 600 pixels and I'm going to set margin to auto. And then for the H2, So, you know, the follow me on social media, I'm going to set the margin to 30 pixels on the top and bottom and set the color to that custom property of primary color. And then the last thing I want to do is for the links. Remember, we have a, a class of social and we have some a tags in there that surround the icons. I just want to set some margin in between them. So I'm going to do five pixels on the left and right. So now if we take a look, we have our video and we have our about section. Okay, and that's it. And if we check it out on a mobile device, it still looks pretty good. So that's it. So feel free to use this in your projects, guys, if you want to, you know, add a new video and create a bunch of sections down here and stuff. Uh, you're free to do that. Like I said, the code is in the description inside of a code pen. So that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.